I went, excuse, I've just woke up um, and I wanted to talk about this fucking dream before I forget anything about it. Um, so, I, I'm gathering it was, it, it's in between dreams because it was in this fucking empty sort of like train station kind of thing, which I imagine you travel between dreams. Anyway, get, I hope it was, I, I might fucking die to my, in my sleep, I don't know. Um, but in it, it was like my uncle would sort of like um, take me between dreams, which makes sense because my uncle in actual real life has helped me through some of my fucking bad times. So it's like a fucking a kind of guardian angel or some gear like that. Um, but when we were walking through this sort of like train station kind of thing, there was this figure and all I could make out was like a blue top and I could not see his face because he sort of like was avoiding like he was like looking down and stuff like that um but he just i kept seeing him sort of out the corner of the eye or for like a split second to the point where you notice him and it starts freaking her out a bit so that then um i said to my uncle in the in the dream i was like can you see this guy or what he's like what guy is it the guy in the blue and then because i called him out he sort of like appeared and then he, he was stood in the corner sort of like with, with his back to you, so obviously you couldn't see him. Um, and then I was like, who are you? Who are you? And then he sort of like half turned around, but he had no face, like absolutely, it was just like a blank, blank face. It wasn't burnt or anything, it was just a blank face. And he turned around, but he did speak. And he said, this is bizarre as fuck. He went, I am your agonizing stare. And I was like, what the fuck? So, like, in my dream, I set my uncle, I was like, I can just say, like, what's going on here? And at, at this moment, it it felt real, do you know what I mean? I could have been in the fucking train station. So I was like, what do you mean, agonising stare? And he was like, you're always looking for her. And I was just like, what the fuck is going on here? Um, and then my uncle in my dream went over and sort of, like, had a word with him. And I, he, yeah, you're always looking for her. And I was like, well, it's because I want to see her. And then the guy in the blue um, said, I'll make that happen. And then it's sort of like we went from this train station into like the fucking, into a street. I like imagine like the old streets of like York or whatever in there. And it was just nobody else about, just me. And then the, the ex sort of like appeared as though she was like fucking beamed there from fucking Star Trek or something. I just like looked a bit confused. And that's when I sort of like figured, yeah, this is a dream. So I became aware it was a dream. And then she started walking towards me. And although it was nice to see her and stuff like that, I was aware it was a dream. So I just said, I went, I know you're not real, but I'll take it. Give her a cuddle and kiss. And then fucked off through this green door into this building. Um, and then my uncle said, don't be going anywhere. We start next month. And I was like, what are you going on about? He was like, next month we're starting. And then, I've never ever done this before, because um, I, I know you're not meant to ask people in the dreams, because I, I looked into fucking crazy dreams before, you're not meant to ask what day is it, or what year, like what time, like tell me what time it is, what day it is, where are we? Because um, they get mad or some shit. But I looked down, and in real life I wear a Fitbit, and in my dream I had a Fitbit on, and I didn't, it, I didn't have a look at the time or I didn't notice it, but the the date sort of said August and all I saw was like one and then August, so like teens August, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so something's going to happen next month. I'll probably die, so if I do, like it's well, good times, but it was fucking trippy as agonising stare, faceless men in blue. What the fuck? I haven't even had a drink or done any drugs. For weeks, so I can't even blame that. I didn't have any cheese. I don't know what the fuck's going on. It just freaked me out trying to fucking put it out there in case aliens come and kill me or some shit. Okay, see you later.